Welcome to Easy Microbiology. Good morning, everyone. Today, we will be discussing the topic of Mycobacterium leprae. Let's begin by diving into the information about Mycobacterium leprae. Mylum leprae is a bacterium that can cause leprosy, a chronic and infectious disease that affects the skin and peripheral nerves. This bacteria has been affecting humans for thousands of years and is a slow-growing organism, meaning the progression of the disease can be slow, depending on the individual. Early diagnosis and treatment is necessary to prevent severe disability. M. Lepre is a pathogenic bacterium that can only survive inside the cells of its host. It primarily affects skin cells and those of the peripheral nervous system. Transmission occurs primarily through direct contact with infected individuals and certain species of armadillos. The infection can last for decades and result in a range of skin disfiguration and nerve damage. Diagnosis and treatment should occur quickly to limit the progression of the disease. Mylocobacterium leprae is a species of gram-positive bacteria belonging to the Clostridium botulinum and Bacillus botulinus family. Characterized by its thin, rod-like shape and a waxy cell wall that enables it to resist common staining methods and makes it challenging to culture in labs, it has a size of 1 to 8 micrometers in length and 0.2 to 0.5 micrometers in width. Clearly, it is a small but formidable bacterium. Discussing Mycobacterium leprae and its cultural characteristics, researchers must use unique methods to examine its growth in a petri dish. These methods include use of certain chemicals, temperature, and special growth media. One of the most difficult pathogens to culture in the lab, Mycobacterium leprae is typically not identified until very late in an infection. Extremely contagious, extreme caution must be taken when handling it in the lab. M. Lepre is a gram-positive bacterium that appears as small, rod-shaped cells under a microscope. It is acid-fast, meaning it retains a stain after acid treatment. This bacteria produces several unique metabolic products, such as phenolic glycolipids, which are linked to leprosy pathogenesis. Different biochemical characteristics help to further separate it from other types of bacteria. M. Lepre is a species of bacteria that primarily infects humans, though cases in armadillos have been reported. Its host range is diverse, making it possible for quick transmission to many people. Studying the pathogen is necessary to gain greater knowledge of the disease and to create preventive and treatment measures. Mycobacterium leprae produces several virulence factors that contribute to its ability to cause disease, including PGL1, which inhibits the immune response and allows the bacterium to evade the host's immune system. M. Leprae is a highly resilient bacterium, its cell wall structure enabling remarkable resistance to many antibiotics. Research has indicated that M. Leprae has devised specific defense systems against conventional antibiotics with evidence suggesting it actively prevents the entry of drugs into its cells. This finding could lead to the development of new treatments for leprosy and other diseases, making it an incredibly important discovery. Mycobacterium leprae is the agent responsible for leprosy, a disease that has caused significant suffering for centuries. It is a slow-growing bacteria that can cause significant skin and nerve damage in those it affects. According to the World Health Organization, in 2018 there were over 200,000 new cases of leprosy around the world, most prevalent in regions with poor sanitation and living conditions. To improve the lives of those impacted by leprosy and to reduce the suffering caused by this disease, it is necessary to understand the bacteria and study the impact it has. Mylocobacterium leprae is a bacterium that affects the skin and peripheral nervous system, causing skin lesions and damaging nerves thereby impairing the immune response. The exact mechanism behind the bacteria's ability to evade the immune system remains unknown. Nevertheless, it has been postulated that it hides inside host cells and releases virulence factors that suppress the immune reaction to the bacteria. The immune response to Mycobacterium leprae is complex and poorly understood. 
In some cases, the immune response can cause nerve damage and deformities in affected individuals. M. Leprae is a bacterial species that causes leprosy, a chronic, infectious disease characterized by skin lesions and nerve damage. To diagnose leprosy, skin examination and biopsy are typically done. Additionally, PCR can be used to detect the M. Leprae DNA in skin samples, giving an accurate and reliable diagnosis of the disease. It is imperative to create awareness of the importance of hygiene, sanitation, and other preventive measures that can help decrease the risk of transmission in the local community in order to control the spread of leprosy, a potentially debilitating disease. Early diagnosis and effective treatment for those infected is key, as this slide is showcasing the importance of prevention. Prevention is essential in controlling the spread of this condition. Milcobacterium leprae, the causative agent of leprosy, is a long-term infection that can cause disfiguring skin lesions and nerve damage if left untreated. Effective treatment is available, with a combination of three antibiotics, dapsone, rifampicin and clofazamine, commonly used. Depending on severity, treatment takes from several months to several years, but with the right treatment, leprosy can be eradicated altogether. M. Leprae is a slow-growing bacterium that causes leprosy, an infectious and chronic disease that affects the skin and peripheral nerves. Despite being one of the oldest known diseases, it remains a major public health concern in many parts of the world. Raising awareness and working together to reduce its prevalence is critical. To conclude this presentation, thanks for taking the time to listen and participate.